Hey everyone, this is Samoy from BI Storyteller and in today's video I'm going to kind of show you how to uh, grab uh, URLs for images and use these images as filters in your Power BI uh, report. So uh, before I go ahead and do that, let me get the uh, data in, right? So this time around I'm using a car sales data set. for 2011 and 2020. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and transform this data. A uh, few changes that I want to make to this data set. So for example, uh, these columns have values which say they are in thousands, right? But I don't want that. I want the actual numbers. So I'm going to select each of these columns in turn and under the standard mathematical calculations, I'm going to multiply the values in each of these columns by a thousand. So that will get me the exact numbers uh, that I'm looking for. And just a quick check to see if everything else is the way I would like it to be. Now, the horsepower, okay, that's fine. Wheelbase. Yeah, that's all good, right? So I'm gonna go close and apply. Now, the one thing that this uh, data set does not uh, have, or the data set did not include, was the image URL itself. So th there's no image URL here, so there's no way for me to kind of uh, have car logos or the logos of these car manufacturers as uh, filters, right? Uh, so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go and grab those, right? So uh, I grab them. I grab these logos from uh, carlogos.com. And if I, if you go back here, and if I had to grab any manufacturer, click on the logo. Uh, this is the uh, URL that I want. So I'm going to copy this URL, and I'm going to paste this on an Excel sheet, right? So I've already done this. Uh, I've already done this for each of the car manufacturers because there are 30 of them and I don't want to do that exercise uh, on this video. So I've already got that information and I'll go ahead and grab that now. So there you have it. Uh, I have my car logos here, or the manufacturer, the car logo for each of the manufacturers. Let me go ahead and transform data. The next thing I want to do is uh, I want to promote these uh, first row as headers in the car logos, right? In the car logo tables. And the other thing I also want to do is I want to move my car sales data to the data model. And uh, I also want the URL information for these manufacturers in my uh, data set, right? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and merge queries. And I'm going to pull in the URL information based on the manufacturer. So there you go. And expand the table. Since I already have the manufacturer in this table, I'm not going to select the manufacturer. I only want the uh, URL for the logo. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And car logo URL, just rename that column. There are a couple of other columns I want to rename so units sold resale value and price yeah, th the next thing I want to do is uh, this data is not yet uh, committed it's not yet loaded right so I don't want to commit data into my data model uh, if it's not required because all it's going to do is it's going to add to the size of the data set, right? So I don't have any more use for this. E even though I need this information here, I don't have any more use for it. I don't need to reload this data. So I'm going to go ahead and disable the load for the car logos and here's my data model. Uh, this is all I need. I ha already have my date table. I have my car sales data and everything is the exactly the way I want it. So now I am going to do close and apply. Okay. Now, uh, 
to show you how to bring the car vehicles in, now I have the car vehicles over here as my uh, column. If I pull that into the canvas, all I'm going to see are the URLs at this point in time. Uh, the, the reason being is that Power BI doesn't recognize this as uh, anything specific to an image, right? So uh, right now it is just pulling in the data that is in that column. So and it's uncategorized data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the category of my car logos column to an image URL. And the moment I do that, you see, it now brings me, it brings in the car logo images, right? It brings in the manufacturer images. Now what I can do is I can convert this into a filter or a slicer and I'll just go ahead and change the orientation to a horizontal and there you go if I put it up top here I have my slicer so now if I just for just for example if I pull in the manufacturer if I pull in the model the length the fuel efficiency just just a couple of columns right now, also for easy visibility, let me just change the text size of the values. And I also want to change the column headers. There you go. So now I have my information here. Uh, very basic information right from the data set. But what I wanted to showcase over here is that uh, you can now use these uh, logos as your filters. Just to make this look better, I can change the background, the image just for better visibility, and that's it. So uh, I I hope you can uh, apply this to your uh, data set, and uh, if you like this video, hit a like. Uh, if you love it, hit subscribe, and thank you for watching.